New at noon, giving back to our local community as employees of WPRI 12, Fox Providence, and the CW. We're all participating in our Founders Day of Caring today and on Monday as well. Each year, our parent company, Next Our Media Group, sets aside time for the entire company to give back to the community. And today, we're giving back at three different locations. I'm going to see anchor Mike Monacavo is at the VZ Street School in Providence and joins us live. Hi, Mike. Hey there, Danielle. What a day to be outside for field day. It is superheroes day here today at the VC Street Elementary School. We have uh, Kate Walsh, Walt Buteau. We also have Eric Halperin here, and they're all working to uh, make it a good day for the kids. This is something they do annually where they really can't go on a field trip, so their field trip is here. Just one of five locations as part of our Founders Day of Caring. Let's give you a look here at some of the activities that are taking place. They have a bouncy uh, seat. They actually have two bouncy games that they doing. They're doing water toss, tug of war. They're actually doing a frisbee contest and they're dressed up as superheroes and they're racing around the park too. So we're happy again to uh, be here a part of their uh, activities. Let's show you some video from earlier today. As I mentioned, it's just one of five locations. We're also at the Veterans Cemetery in Exeter where we're cleaning up markers. Those are not gravestones, but those are actual markers that represent World War II heroes who died in battle. And over the years, they've been sinking into the ground. So we're cutting it out, lifting the stone out, putting a little gravel on the bottom, and putting the stone back on because it's important to never forget our true heroes. And Veterans Affairs Director Kasim Yarn says being in the community is important. It is phenomenal, and I, I hold back. I get emotional when we talk about these things because as you know, volunteering defines who we are as Rhode Islanders, and to see it, community engagement and for your company to honor that and to be committed to signifying what it means to honor our veterans and their families. And when you go to the Veterans uh, Cemetery, you really realize that freedom is not free. If you've never been, we advise you to, that would be a great idea to pay a visit to see those who put their lives on the line. We're also at the Lynn Healthcare Center in East Providence. It's Flag Day today, so they're having an ice cream Flag Day social. We'll be hanging out with the uh, patients there. And now on Monday, we're getting together for the second year in a row with Metro Providence Rotary, and we're going to be bagging hundreds of uh, lunches and dinners for the less fortunate. We'll also be painting up house as part of our Habitat for Humanity outreach. So if you want to see more, we'll have more tonight coming up on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. For now, we're live at the VC Street Elementary School in Providence. I'm Mike Montecalvo, Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thanks so much. And in between our service tasks, helping in the community today and Monday, all of us at Eyewitness News are going to be sharing photos and videos with you. The stories and images will be on the WPRI 12 app, WPRI.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.